It is November the 2nd, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Moment Report. We're heading out to Brunswick today. Well, hey guys, I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping here and clear up a couple things. Uh, yesterday, the, the beautiful sunset pictures that were taken uh, with the sun kind of going down behind the BB as she was offshore, those weren't taken by me. Um, I, I added the credit in the description, but I guess some of you guys don't read those, so I'm going to tell you guys all the credit for those pictures go to two people. Captain Buddy Cantrell, who we've met here on the channel, did an interview with Captain Buddy, and then also Captain David Colquitt on the uh, pilot boat that was out there. Um, those guys sent me those shots, and I said, here, take these, uh, look at these pictures, and if you, know, if you can use them, use them, and I want to make sure that they get some good credit for those beautiful shots. They really... I think they really closed out that saga nicely of the VB-10,000. Now, I want to share a story with you guys that we've just found out about today. And we want to talk about the Crosby Leader, the tugboat that pulled, was out on the bridle of the VB-10,000. You know, when we got out there, uh, the Crosby Star and the Cheetah were already in place on the VB-10,000, and we thought that was kind of strange. We didn't see the leader out there, and it took a little bit, but here it came around the corner, and they got hooked, set up, and got ready to tow off. Well, come to find out, the Crosby leader suffered uh, some engine damage on one of the generator sets on that boat. They had to go out and search for the parts. Um, they thought it was one thing. They got the parts. They got the mechanics in place. They started working on the engine. They found out that there was more to it. And uh, they called back to the home office. And the home office said, we've got parts on the way. Crosby Tugs flew in the parts to repair that tug. It was repaired with the uh, mechanics and chief engineers working on that. Um, and the, as the, the process was, it was a bit ongoing um, because they'd started work on it and then found more damage. They couldn't find the parts. They did find some parts back in Louisiana at their place. Crosby Tugs, you want to talk about customer service. Crosby Tugs got those parts on the airplane and flew them back here so that that tug would be on the, on the, the bridle of that VB-10,000 with the outgoing tide and they made that deadline and that is impressive and that's customer service uh, coming from the Crosby Tug folks and that's just that's just an example of the of the professionalism and people who were part of this project tip of the hat to Crosby Tugs and uh, for everything they did um, obviously world-class operation in everything they do but we wanted to share that with you guys and get that bit of housekeeping taken care of well, Menorcan Navy, we made it out to 615 Bay Street, and that is where the Mars Company is working on currently Section 5 of the Golden Ray, and we could see Thor in action. Here we saw it unloading what appeared to be some uh, acetylene and oxygen tanks, uh, putting those on shore. They had quite the array of activity going on because not only did we see Thor doing a little work today, the Pacific was on the other side of the wreck working as well. So both cranes in action and getting section five ready for the dismantling that that is including getting the leftover vehicles and getting the deck cleaned up so that they can begin that operation and you can really tell these guys have been hustling because there's really <laughs> not hardly anything left on the inside of the section. And, you know, that's pretty much just decks. You see maybe one, one or two cars that are still kind of wedged in there. But for the most part, it's cleaned out.
Now, the Pacific had this bundle of cars, just, just really a bundle of destroyed automobiles uh, off the end of its crane. It had picked up just the mass of them, and it was swinging it over to the barge, and we couldn't resist watching this head over to the barge to get placed in the, in the hopper barge. Just a load of, I don't know, it was four, maybe five vehicles they got kind of daisy-chained in there, making good, efficient use of that Pacific Crane and getting these cars over to the deck and across into the hopper barge. Now, it looks like to us that uh, they've, Got plenty of room in this barge, so it's going to be interesting to see what all gets put in here and how this thing stacks up for the uh, removal process. It's going to be interesting to see. And we see this basket that was suspended from Thor kind of backed off here. Just kind of bring this into perspective and, and look at this. Wow. Well, one thing we can certainly say is that the Mars company looks like they are prepared to do some cutting uh, here, even more uh, what appear to be bottles of acetylene and oxygen. Um, they're moving quite a few of them around over there and getting these in place. So they are prepared for the task of cutting up section five and section four. And we are eagerly awaiting the start of that operation. Can't wait to see Thor, some of those heavy lifting capabilities, uh, flex its muscles on sections five and section four. And then, of course, always fun to watch the Blue Grapple in action today. And it looks like some of the decks that they've cleaned up uh, that may have been broken down on, the, on the, the dry dock. They've gotten those ashore. And the Blue Grapple was putting these into the trucks for transport. 
caught this going on and then we decided to have a little fun so uh watch this and, and just watch how fast this operator can actually work this machine Yeah, okay guys, just having a little fun. I'm speeding up the video, but <laughs> what a lot of fun to watch, huh? This operator is very good at what he does. Well, hey, that's gonna do it for the report today. We're gonna ask if you haven't done it yet to click on that subscribe link, share the video, continue to comment. We certainly enjoy getting the comments. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like what we're doing. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.